Hi YouTube. So, it is time to start soldering the electronics. So let's just jump into it. So in order to get better access to the motors, I have to drive the arms up. Uh, I'm gonna drive this one with the battery, but the boom I'll just uh, turn around manually. It's much easier to work with uh, the machine. Let me show you what I'm doing. I've created these uh, clamps. These will clamp uh, onto the wires and will guide them uh, in a nice line down the boom. Watching me do all the wires is pretty boring, so I'm going to skip ahead until all the wires are done, and then we'll take it from there. See you soon! So, as I was about to find the ESCs, <laughs> I seem to have done a miscalculation because I am missing one ESC. I need six, I have five, but luckily I have this truck and I'm thinking I'm taking the ESC from this truck un until I get new ESCs. So let's take it out. Okay, after fiddling around, I managed to find a ESC that I can use. Uh, the other truck, the flatbed truck, it had a different ESC, so that's why I had to strip this one. Anyway, let's continue the build of the Volvo. So, 
it looks like a rat's nest, but it will do the job. Okay, it's not beautiful, but this should work. Don't worry, I have it all under control. <laughs> so let me grab the radio real quick. So before I begin, I have to mark each of the ESCs so I know where or, or which channel they go to. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, so the machine is working and I got everything set up. The only thing I'm missing right now uh, is the end switches for for the cylinders. I'm going to put them on now. Uh, without them, uh, the cylinders might break if I run them too far. So we're going to put them on. So I'm going to try to explain how the end switches work. They're also called limit switches, so you can find them on eBay and stuff. What you need is an end switch, also known as a limit switch. And you also need this thing. This is a one-way diode. Now, what this does, it limits the electricity going one way. And not the other. So let's say you have an end switch. This is the end switch, right? So you got this port. These are the outputs. We are only using this one and this one. The one in the middle we don't use. So what happens here is let me grab. The red, uh, the red pen is the electricity, right? Electricity comes through here, goes into the switch, comes out here and goes over there. So when this switch is pressed down, like so, this will cut the electricity inside, meaning the electricity stops here. It has nowhere to go. And that's where this thing comes in. You place this between these two points. This allows the electricity to travel one way. 
So, when the electricity is trying to go that way, it won't work. But when it comes this way, it can travel through this thing. Which means you can use the end switches to stop uh, a motor or a cylinder from going in or out, depending on which way you turn this thing. If I were to just turn it around, like so, it would be a, the other way. Let me show you how it works in practice. It's it's hard for me to explain. Uh, my my native language is not English, so I'm trying my best. <laughs> so what I've done here, uh, focus. This is a small limit switch. Uh, I use the small ones because they don't show as much. Uh, let, let me hook up the machine. One second. So, here you can see the limit switch. Let me also show you the control, so I can show you it's working. So here I move the stick, you see? So when I press this stick up, this limit switch will cut the power, right? You see? But if I didn't have this one-way diode, the entire circuit will be cut. But now the power can't go that way, but it can go that way through this diode, like so. You see? Well. I hope you understand uh, what I'm trying to say. It's really easy to set up. Uh, if you find uh, diagrams or something on Google, they might look very complicated, but it's really this simple. You don't need to more than this. Uh, when I limit a cylinder both ways, I, uh, I forgot to mention I forgot to mention, let's say one side is the ESC, right? And the other side is the motor. It's that simple. And what I'm trying to explain now is when I put two limit switches, one in and one out, I just use the other uh, motor cable. So I use one side, you know, motors have two, two wires coming into them. So I use one side for this and the other side for this. That way I keep things very simple. I don't have to uh, run wires across these switches. Like I've seen mo many others do, uh, I keep it as simple as possible. Here you can see, I ran this wire from the motor into the end switch and then this wire continues down to the ESC. Now I haven't uh, plugged in this side yet, but this side will go from here and down to a limit switch here and then continue back to the ESC. Okay, I hope that helps. So, a uh, quick update. I have installed all the limit switches. And now I am soldering the lights for the cabin and the front.
steps mounted up. Now oh, I'm very happy. So let me show you the functions of it. Uh, this is where you move the big arm or the boom up and down. And when I push this to the sides, we move the bucket. And when I twist this, I run the tracks on one side. So you see, and the same on the other side. When I twist this, I run the tracks on that one. And then I made it so when I press this button, I can't twist and run the tracks anymore. That's for safety reasons. Because when you operate these controls, you sometimes don't feel that you twist them. So that's why. And on this side, we move the small arm. And we swing the machine around. That's all the functions that I have right now. I plan on putting in uh, sound and also I need more lights. I have ordered some uh, LED bars, some small 17 millimeters to have on the boom. And I want some more lights on top of the air to shine down on the bucket. Well, that's for the future. So those won't be on the video. So anyway, guys, it's getting late. So I got to go to bed. <laughs> well, it's been nice showing you how I build the machine. It's I still have one more video to show you, and that's how it performs. Uh, right now this might take a while because uh, there's so much snow outside and if I'm lucky uh, the snow will melt in a few days if not I will probably take the machine to the local club but we'll see so you'll just have to wait stay tuned see you next time bye bye